Hello everyone, welcome back again to Angela's Craft Room. Now today I've got another Christmas card for you and I'm really, I really liked how the sponging colours turned out in this one. So I've used Marina Mist, Wisteria Wonder and at the bottom here Sahara Sand. So this one is in landscape layout. But what I want to do this time is still using Lovely as a Tree stamp set. But we're going to have one coming up this way instead. So on this, this card here, I've used these stamps. The card we're doing today, I'm going to use this lovely big tree here. Okay, but they're both from Lovely as a Tree stamp set. Okay, so... I'm going to keep with the same colour scheme. So the bottom, the base card is Night of Navy by 11 inches long by 4 and 1 eighths of an inch wide and then scored at 5.5. So that's your base. And then inside the card, I decided to do a layer inside the card so on a piece of shimmery white I've stamped in early espresso the big trees and that is five inches by three and five eighths of an inch and then in marina mist which is five and a quarter and by three and seven eighths so I'll just glue that onto there and then we can put that inside the card So I'm just going to pop that onto the marina mist. Just slightly moving it up and to the side a little bit. Those trees are stamped in early espresso ink as well. So then I'm going to glue that on the inside of our card and that'll be the inside done. that on the inside so just eyeball it to see that you've got it as straight as possible it's not going to be perfect so then we've got a nice layered piece on the inside with the trees so now for the front of the card, we're going to glue a piece of Marina Mist as our first mat, which is five and a quarter by three and seven eighths. So we're just going to glue that straight on. I'm not embossing it or anything like that. going to put that straight on to the front of my card so I want it to be pretty equal being the front of my card so I'm pretty happy with that so we'll put that aside and now we're going to do the sponge part. So I'm just using the sponge brayer 
and to start with I'm going to start off with Marina Mist just reach across sorry about that okay so I'm just going to see so you can see So I'm literally just going across my ink pad like that and I'm just going to start at the top with the Marina Mist. And we can always come back in because we're doing the portrait layout. I'm bringing the, the sky, oh, there's a bit of fluff on the brayer. I'm bringing the sky down a bit, most probably to about a third. And you could mask for a moon if you wanted to at the top. Then I'm going to bring in my Wisteria Wonder. And just start. So it's quite a quick process with the brayer in this particular technique. Now I'd like to to bring it back up into the marina mist so that all the colours blend in together nicely. But this is one of my favourite um, three colours to use when I'm sponging at the moment. When I do Christmas cards, I do like to use non-traditional colours, not just not just red or gold or silver. I like to go. So I'm just going over that a bit because I just want, and I am lifting it. I am. I'm not going back. I am lifting it. It's just I'm doing it quite fast. So just grab the Sahara sand and just do that last bit down the bottom. So it's a nice easy Christmas card to do. going to bring that up into the Wisteria Wonder part. So I don't want to see any of the shimmery white card stock. And I just want to see that seamless blending. So I'm just going into the Wisteria Wonder again and just bringing that down. Lastly, back into the marina mist and just bringing that right down over all the colours 
just so it's a seamless sponge. Okay, so that's, I'll just get, push those stamp pads out the way. Then we're going to just peel that off. Oh, and by the way, this was Eclipse masking tape. I meant to tell you at the beginning. For those that don't know what I use when I mask, I use Eclipse masking tape. You can get it on eBay. That's where I get it from. It does come from America, so if it's, it's just so much better to use than post-it notes. So I really, I really love that those three colours together. So that's Marina Miss, Wisteria Wonder and Sahara Sand. So now we want to stamp our tree. So grab the Stamparatus. Now I'm going to place my stamp CD case underneath the magnet so that when I am inking up this tree it's going to give me something to push down on so I'm not pushing the I'm not pushing the lid down these magnets are just so strong so I just want to see where I want this to be just push that right up in the corner because I want it and I'm always paranoid that it's going to be straight I'm just going to grab quickly a scrap of paper and a piece of cardstock because I don't want to make them have a crooked. So I'm just going to put a little bit of ink on there just to make sure that that is straight. Pretty good, so we'll just go with it. So you can see what I mean. I can push down with the pad, but if you didn't have that, um, the stamp case underneath, you would be pushing the lid backwards. I'm just going to ink this up a couple of times. Because I want a really nice bold tree. got a little bit of ink on the outer part of the stamp and I don't want to transfer that over so so that's a really nice impression so also then I've just got a real little sentiment and I'm just going to position it up there and I'm 
just going to, I might just quickly give it a quick test. Just some stamps you just can't, so that's, that's pretty straight. I do use the grid lines on the Stamparatus, but some stamps are just then when they cut them, when they make them and cut them, they're not always completely straight. You can't always go by the grid lines. So because I'm stamping into the marina mist. I'm going to have to just um, stamp that a couple of times so it's nice and bold. These little Mento, the little sizing pads, I find are really good when I'm stamping in this way. So I might just do one more. I don't know what I'd be, what how I'd do it without. It's just so good having a tool like this that you can stamp over and get the boldness of the um, image. So now you could add just bring back in the base and you could add um, some shimmery white to make it really Christmassy if you wanted to. So we'll just glue that on first. So this the shimmery white piece was five inches by three and five eighths and then I just masked it off using the grid lines on the paper on the stamping up paper I had. So with this technique you can do it landscape or portrait. Remember the landscape I used the row of trees and the portrait I used just the one tree. Now I just need to try and get that as equal as possible. So I'm watching the top and the bottom. It's the good thing about the Tombow liquid glue. It does give you those few seconds if you do need to move it. Press that down there and on that side. So I quite like that, and as I said, you could add a little bit of shimmery white. So that's it in the portrait layout and then this is the one I did in the landscape so it's still using lovely as a tree but as I said in this one I used the row of trees and in this one I used the um, the single tree I think next time I would mask a moon on this one and you could have the Merry Christmas going into the moon so I hope they help you to get motivated into your Christmas card making and until next time, happy crafting.